Go check it out. If you're even thinking about joining the military, come on over to ROTC if you're in college. Try it out. See for yourself if it's something you like. Uh, I did that. Uh, I really enjoyed what I saw, and uh, they commissioned me as a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. And so I had a lot of fun over the years uh, just having other soldiers enjoy a nice ride in a helicopter. The chair for the Military Science Department, ROTC, and uh, my job is to ensure that we continue to do the fundamental training here on campus to make sure that the officers or the students, when they graduate after their four years of college, have the same level of basic uh, knowledge and training to prepare them to be officers uh, for the Army. I saw one day uh, a young lady that was wearing a United States Army uniform on campus at the University of Charleston where I attend and I was really curious and I, she was one of my colleagues and I wanted to know okay why are you in uniform what does this stand for what are you doing here on campus with the uniform and I wasn't aware she was in the military and she explained to me I'm a part of a military science course offered at the University of Charleston which later I found out to be Reserve Officer Training Corps or ROTC. I'm a finishing up sophomore year at West Virginia State University and I'm about to sign a contract with the ROTC program. Uh, once I sign the contract after the leadership training course in the summer, um, it will mean that if I can keep my physical ability up and can go through the classes and be scaled as a, as a pass, then I will graduate and commission as, an off, as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. I am a national scholarship recipient. Well, with the scholarship, they would pay three years of my tuition, my books, my, and a monthly stipend. And then once I graduate, I'll commission as a second lieutenant in the United States Army. We're doing a fundamental rifle shooting, the basic rifle marksmanship. And uh, we're making sure that after the classroom instruction, same as any college class, we can sit there and lecture them to death. But then when we actually go to the field and perform hands-on what we've talked about, it becomes a little bit different. And so today they have a chance to actually uh, load aim, fire weapons, and then make corrections on those weapons for each individual. So that We have uh, different uh, groups, 10 to 12 students, uh, work as a squad, and three squads comprise a platoon. And we'll give them uh, a large-scale mission, and it's always tricky to watch the college students who are in charge try to maneuver these three squads to accomplish their mission. Really right now I'm in a period of learning about the Army, understanding what it stands for, their beliefs, and their way of life and really I am uh, taking the classes to get a better understanding of what it means to be a commissioned officer in the Army as well as basic soldiering skills.